After I spent probably a year telling you guys, uh, Fire TV is moving to the brand new Vega OS and it's no longer going to exist, it seems like that's not really necessarily the case. In fact, we just got news that Fire TVs might be moving to Android 14, and that is amazing news. Let's get into it. I make weekly videos helping users like you save money on streaming services and learning how to optimize their device. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button right down below. So as a lot of you know, Amazon started to create Vega OS, which was their brand new operating system apparently taking over Fire TV OS. However, it was only available on devices such as the Echo Show 5, Echo Show 15, and the recently released Echo Show 21. But we have now gone news that it looks like Android 14 TV is coming to future Fire TV devices. Not just off-brand other TVs, we're talking about legit Amazon sold Fire TVs running Android 14, the brand new OS. Okay, I can't do this with all these ads just popping up on my screen. This is annoying. One sec, guys. Let me just go here and let's turn on Threat Protect. So Threat Protect with IP Vanish actually blocks all ads and malicious sites. So let's turn this on, connect this here, and let's refresh this page here. That should get rid of it all. Ah, there we go, that's a lot better. If you also wanna utilize Threat Protect and block ads, you can just click on this link right down below here. That'll bring you to my exclusive offer, over 83% off. So Amazon has recently published a brand new developer documentation for an unreleased Fire TV operating system that is based on Android 14. Now, if you don't already know, Amazon's Fire TV OS is based on Android, but it is labeled as Fire TV OS, not Android TV. It's a totally different system. And this pretty much confirms that we are not going to be getting Vega on Fire TVs anytime soon. And it looks like for at least Fire TVs, the actual TV with the built-in OS, it's going to be running Android 14, which is really good news for a number of reasons. And they kind of explain it right here. Amazon has always referred to their Fire TV OS as 5, 6, 7, 8, but this one is Android 14 based Fire TV. And AFTV News has a pretty good point right here where they even say they might be reading too much into it, but it seems like Fire OS is going to be the new name of Vega. So essentially, instead of calling it Vega OS, they're going to switch Fire TV OS to Vega which is their brand new, not Android-based system, and they'll be turning everything else into Android TV, which is super good news for customization reasons. And this is another really good theory right here, where they point out how the more expensive, higher-end devices may be Android-based, but with cheaper Fire TV sticks, 1080p, they might run Vega because they don't require as much power i.e. they're only used for streaming, really. And this is really good news right here as well. It seems like the new lineup of Fire TV devices is going to be 64-bit, which is the first one since I believe the Fire TV streaming box, not the cube, the box, that actually runs 64-bit operating system. Just like they point out here, only the second generation Fire TV from 2015 uses 64-bit system. And that also gives us reason to believe this will be a higher end device because it is 64 bit. So it seems like Amazon has already given virtual access to developers to try out their apps and create any fixes for any issues while it transfers over to this Android 14 system. The biggest worry with Vega was the fact that Amazon was going to be controlling the way you could customize your device more, which would possibly mean that future Fire TV sticks because they don't run Android, have less third-party apps and less customizable options. And if you love Amazon's discounted Fire TV devices, that was a big bummer. But to see that at least high-end devices might be running just an Android-based system on their discounted devices, or in this case, maybe a more expensive one, is really good news. 